Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. So we had FOMC today and it was a pretty volatile session though at the end of the day a lot of the indexes ended up kind of where they started. Uh, the big mover today though was the dollar. So the dollar index, chop, chop, choppity, chop, 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 exploded higher and that had a lot of repercussions across different asset classes. So dollar up, guess what? Gold down, okay? Dollar up, guess what? Yen down. So yen futures coming down is actually good for stocks. So when the yen started to implode and the NASDAQ futures were down um, 60 points, uh, typically that's not a sustainable correlation. Typically if the yen's gonna continue higher, uh, the NASDAQ's going to rally. And so we did get a rally. It ended up down 20 points. Keep in mind at one point it was down 60. And we ended up with a nice fat hammer. So although there are, you know, bearish indications in terms of divergences, in terms of internals, at the end of the day, price is price. We've got stack moving averages. We're, you know, we're holding the 21. In fact, we're holding the 8. And the most logical move here, because so many people I know are bearish, and they give you all the reasons why they're bearish. Um, and I just, just because we think a market should go down, okay, and I'm the first one to admit, like, this is ridiculous, it should be going down, but I'm not getting any sell signals. So if I'm not getting any sell signals, I'm just going to play the charts in front of me, and the charts in front of me are bullish. So um, so the question now is, so what happens from here? What are stocks that I like? Um, I continue to like Facebook. Facebook here from a daily perspective looks pretty solid on a, you know, stacked moving averages. We don't have a squeeze here, but we do have a squeeze on the 30 minute and we do have a squeeze on the 195. So I'm not super, um, what's the right word, excited about it. I do think we could maybe eke out some new highs and potentially look at some longer term options for a run into earnings. So I think yesterday I was talking about my uh, all my various positions on uh, Facebook. Well, if I go down here, you'll see I've got diagonals, butterflies, put spreads, oh my. And so today, even though the that Facebook was down um, about 35 some odd cents, uh, overall, not too bad on the P&L. Um, if I had just long calls, it'd have been worse. But because of all this other premium enhancing uh, trades, it's working out, you know, pretty solid. So the question now is, well, what about earnings? Well, if we minimize this and say, okay, where's earnings? Um, you can see right here that earnings are going to be. Uh, they're still not for. And that, that might even be the wrong one if the weeklies come out. So it's too early, as opposed to say Netflix, which you can clearly see is right here, okay? And I do think actually Netflix is gonna run into earnings. So that's what I wanna look at. And then uh, one stock here that I like, this is Once. Now this one, unfortunately the options are so thin, this is a hard one to get excited about, trading options. So on this one, we also added the stock and I'm just looking for, so I got a few of the options, but looking for the stock to continue to rally as well. And if we look at the chart here for Once, and let me move this back up here. So if we got a daily here and a 195, you can see the 195 is fired long, daily's got a squeeze on it, and then if we look at the weekly, um, there's a squeeze going. So I like the idea, and it's got high short interest, so I like the idea that this could just continue working higher, and I like the idea that this is a stock that generally, not necessarily, but generally would ignore uh, the market um, should it roll over and die, all right? So, um, so it's just, you want to understand like, you know, what the chart looks like and what to expect. All right, and speaking of getting ready for anything, I want to let you know, if you don't know already, Raggy Horner is going to be doing uh, this really cool class called the Obnoxious Profit Method. Instantly read any chart like a 30-year pro, okay? To get to this page, you'll probably see a link in your email or you can go to simplertrading.com forward slash profits, okay? I'll show you a little bit about what Raggy's going to talk about here. So in this, is going to be talking about how she uses popular simpler trading indicators as well as a lot of the free tools that she uses in TradeStation and Thinkorswim, okay? And the whole premise, and, and she's been doing this for such a long time, and she knows correlations better than anyone else I know, but as she has said, once you understand these simple 
and intuitive tools, it's possible to read any stock, ETF, futures, contract, or a currency chart like a Season Pro. And of course, if you can identify charts like a Season Pro, then you can identify precise entries and exits a lot better. So what she's going to be talking about is how the grab candles and wave indicators offer a crystal clear market perspective how she uses the propulsion indicator as part of her proven roadmap. This is um, the tried and true tool of a longtime favorite of myself. Um, it's one that I talk about in my book, and it's how I essentially got out of corporate America by using this setup to swing trade stocks and, and options and things like that too. How to use limit orders to let trades come to you and avoid impulsive trading decisions. Um, and then also, if you want to avoid sitting through a lot of heat on your trades, you can learn her disciplined entry and exit techniques. How the new Darvis tool reveals how price reacted to past, in the past to support and resistance levels. All right. I don't know if you guys have ever read uh, How I Made $2 Million in the Stock Market by Nicholas Darvis. One of my favorite books, and I love his strategy, and Raggy's going to be talking about that. And then discover how to identify precise market-based entry and exits with all these tools. So no more buying tops, no more selling bottoms when you know how to read all this stuff. Okay, and, and Raggy trades everything. So And she even uses this stuff on the cryptocurrencies as well. So if you are interested in ratcheting up your trading a couple of notches, here is what Raggy is going to be doing. So again, simplertrading.com forward slash profits. She's going to be talking about a basic, uh, it says basic, but the reality of it is, is that it's not basic. It's just, hey, here's the, all of her strategies, okay? So this will be on Saturday, September 23rd from 12 to 5 central time and small investment of $297. This is one of those things is with the knowledge, the ROI on your investment will be many, many, many times over. Now the professional package just includes two live trading sessions. So what you have here is great. This includes Saturday, but also you get to spend two entire days with Raggy doing this stuff live, okay? and. The thing about trading a lot of people don't realize is that you can't just read a book or listen to a class and be ready to go. Trading like golf is experiential learning, meaning you have to do it to learn. In golf, you have to swing the club to learn how to swing the club. You can read the book, but it's not going to actually help the mechanics of it. And so it's very much like that in trading. And that's why, you know, we used to not offer the free trading or not the free trading, the live trading. And then just thought, okay, that's a, that's a pretty solid upgrade. And then from there, if you like all this stuff and like, you know what, I want to hang out with Raggy for the next six months in her live trading room, um, you can also do the Elite Package and that's six months of live trading. So anyway, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see what Raggy is going to be sharing. She said she had some new stuff that I had not even seen yet that she's been doing and I uh, can't wait to take a look. You guys have a good one and we'll see you at the next update.